Hi, DIYers. This is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to show you how to pair the T6 Pro Z-Wave thermostat with the Lyric controller. Now, there are actually two versions of the T6 Pro. There's a Z-Wave Plus version, and there's a Wi-Fi version. The Wi-Fi version is for use with HomeKit, which the Lyric is also compatible with, but you don't directly pair that with the Lyric. You can only pair the T6 Pro if it's the Z-Wave version with the Lyric. Only the Z-Wave version can pair with the Residio Lyric controller. So it's a pretty simple process. Uh, we like this thermostat a lot because it can be used without a C wire, a common power wire. You can actually use it just on battery power alone, which is great for DIY installers because they might not want to mess with the high voltage electrical wiring. All you have to do is just connect it to the HVAC system and then it's good to go. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you do have it running on battery power only, which is perfectly fine, it will not repeat Z-Wave signals. Now, usually when you have Z-Wave devices, the, um, the Z-Wave signals can hop through other devices. They can make through up to four hops, and that strengthens your Z-Wave mesh network, and it, it's good for ensuring that every de device communicates properly. But if you don't use uh, the common power wire, you just use battery power, you won't be able to have it hop through those devices. I mean, it'll still work fine on your network and everything, but it won't serve as a Z-Wave repeater, so it won't strengthen your mesh network. So that's just something to keep in mind if you do decide to use the T6 Pro Z-Wave Plus thermostat. Now, pairing it is very easy. Um, it's pretty much like any Z-Wave device. Um, we actually have it paired with another Lyric system in our office, one right next to my desk, actually, because I like to keep the temperature low in the office, and we're all fighting with the thermostat. So I have it right there. I can just go on the Lyric, press the button, and turn down the temperature. It's really cool. So I'm going to show you how to do it today. Uh, first, we're going to have to exclude it um, because it's already paired with the other Lyric controller. It's not paired with this system. So first, I'm going to show you how to put the Lyric into the exclusion mode, and then you can put the T6 Pro into exclusion mode, and then it will exclude from the system that it's paired with already. So what you're going to do, you're going to go to Automation from the main menu, and then you're going to press the down arrow on the right, and you're going to go to Tools, and then you would go to Exclude Devices. Now we're going to go to the T6 Pro first and put it into exclusion mode, and then we'll press this button, and then you'll see that it excludes a device. So now you see we're at the T6 Pro Z-Wave Plus thermostat. So it's very simple. You just tap the screen to activate it. You go to Menu, and then you scroll until you find Z-Wave Setup. You press Select at the bottom, and then you'll see it'll say Exclude in whatever node it's on. This one happens to be on node 13, and you just press Select, and now it'll enter exclusion mode. So as you can see, I pressed the exclusion button on the Lyric, and it went into exclusion mode. And you see it says unknown device excluded. That unknown device is actually the T6 Pro thermostat. So you see it ex successfully excluded. Now, you don't have to press the exclude button down there. If you do that, that will just put it back into exclusion mode. So you don't want to do that. So what you'll do is you'll just press this back arrow. And now we're actually going to include the device. So what you'll do is you'll activate inclusion mode on the T6. It's the same process as before. And you'll press Include Devices to put the Lyric into inclusion mode. And you'll see that it pairs with the system. Now we're back at the T6 Pro Z-Wave Plus thermostat. Tap on the screen again, Menu. And we'll scroll to Z-Wave Setup, Select. And now it's asking us to put the controller into inclusion mode. So we're going to do that at the Lyric. And now we're pressing Include Devices on the same menu. It's entering in inclusion mode. And you see that the device was found, and we're done. And as you can see, it added the thermostat to the Z-Wave network, and we're good to go. Um, and again, you don't have to press the Include button down there. That will just put the Lyric back into inclusion mode. The thermostat's already paired. You don't need to do that. So we'll go back. And let me just show you a little bit how it works. Um, you see the thermostat on here. And that's actually the thermostat right there, 231. And we can change the temperature. Uh, we like it at 71 in the office, so we'll just keep it right there. Uh, one other thing we wanted to show you um, that you, you know you can control it from the panel, the T6 from the panel. Um, you can also do it from Total Connect. That's the interactive platform that you can access remotely using the mobile app, or you can get onto the Total Connect website. As you can see, we've already logged into the Total Connect mobile app. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go down to Automation, and then it's going to give you the thermostat. In our case, we haven't named it yet. It's still called Thermostat 232, and you can click on it. And you can adjust the temperature there. Uh, there's a plus and a minus. Uh, we have ours set to Celsius, um, but you can set it to, thermos, um, to Fahrenheit. That's somewhere else, actually. Um, but we just wanted to show you what that looks like real quick. Um, it's a good feature if you're away from home and you wanted to change the temperature. You can also set schedules from there. Uh, we'll show you that in another video. Um, but anyway, back to the lyric here. Um, if you want to give your thermostat a name, like you want to have it something that you can remember, um, what you would do is you will go to Automation. And then we're working with a thermostat. And then you click on the thermostat. Again, see it's thermostat 232 right now, but we're going to name that something else. 
Um, here you can change the temperature and set modes and stuff. Um, what you're going to do if you want to rename it, though, you're going to do edit. And then you can call it whatever you want here. Um, in all ca our case, we'll clear everything away. And we'll do hallway thermostat. Hallway. Or here's a T there. OK, hallway. And we'll just call it T stat just to be quick. Um, there. And then once you've finished naming it, uh, make sure you press save in the bottom right corner. Otherwise, it won't take the change. And then it will be saved as such. And that will update on Total Connect once you do a panel sync. And we'll go back to the main menu here. And all right, that's how you program the Honeywell T6 Pro Z-Wave thermostat with the Lyric controller. If you have any questions about the Lyric controller or our monitoring services or the T6 Pro thermostat, um, shoot us an email at support at alarmgrid.com. Uh, you can also comment below. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to get more videos like this, uh, please subscribe to us. Uh, click the bell icon below. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.